Kathy Knauss on her installation, Meat Market. My father was a butcher, and um, he uh, started a meat market in uh, Wheat Ridge, Colorado, when I was about eight years old, which is still in existence today. I um, started looking at painting uh, some of the things that um, were close to me in the meat market when I was a teenager. And um, my father, um, he uh, built this cooler door, and uh, probably we think around in the 60s, I saw it laying back behind the meat market, and I decided to use it and wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I thought about painting on it, but I thought it was so beautiful in itself. It um, kind of is an art piece in itself. And it came about that I would just make a cooler and attach the door to it. That's kind of how the beginning of this installation um, started. Cooler door, had the cooler bill, and then just uh, noticed things at the meat market that um, my father had used over the years that I remember using when I worked there. I think there was something about um, using things from the meat market to talk about my past, not only uh, working at the meat market, but I think there was a part of me that wanted to bring my father uh, back into this space. He passed away 11 years ago. You know, his life was uh, working with meat and uh, I wanted to uh, bring a part of that, I think, uh, to this space. And um, so I used uh, equipment like the scale, which is from the meat market, um, the uh, props. I wanted to show, uh, you know, what was used there, what we uh, had over us. So I had the workers there now uh, use the props. Uh, these are S hooks, they're old hooks, they don't even use them anymore. And the nails that I used actually come from the hinges of the uh, butcher or the uh, cooler door. Using paintings, I thought about, um, should I use my meat painting? Should I do new meat painting? Should I do them on the outside of the cooler door? Should I do them inside the cooler door? And eventually, I felt like um, what I had was enough, and I had thought about doing a video, and there was, you know, various things at the meat market that I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. So I really dug deep and thought about, you know, what was either meaningful. So I decided that the meat saw was always something that was very um, scary for me to use. I didn't like using it. Um, I did once in a while if I had to, but most of the time I didn't. I decided to do a video of the saw and I wanted to just show up close um, the blade, uh, take a shot of the blade, and then pan out a little bit to show the actual cutting of meat. I also hung butcher paper. I wanted to show, you know, we used home pot, we went through a lot of butcher paper. And I, I can see the relationship now between the meat market and uh, the art. Um, you know, paper, the butcher paper, uh, you know, we use paper a lot in just making sketches for projects or whatever. And then I also used a piece of liver to make a print of, um, on the butcher paper. And I noticed it was just really interesting, the shapes that it created, um, you know, the beauty of it, where some people would say gross, but I saw really just the beauty of all of it and wanted to, um, no, just bring a part of that meat can be very beautiful. I heard uh, multiple people ask whether or not this was a political piece. Um, I, I guess personally, I'm not making a statement about meat per se and that I don't eat meat or that I'm a vegetarian or whatever. But I, um, I really, I love animals and I do uh, feel that uh, the way the animals are treated in the big feed lots, I would like to see that change. I'm not saying this is maybe a political piece about that, but I think that it could definitely, definitely relate to a time when I think, especially with the cooler being empty of me, that there may be a time when meat may not be as available uh, now or, or in the future as it is now and so I think that that's definitely something that 
um, if I did want to make a political statement, that's something that I would, would say about it. Thanks.